الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم دس از ایور گرین اسلامک سینٹر اینڈ ان شاء اللہ ٹونائٹ وی ول بی ریسائٹنگ دی ففتھ تراوی آف رمضان اینڈ دی سوراز این آیاس دیٹ ول بی ریسائٹڈ ول بی دی ریمیننگ سورا آف انسا and the next juz which is la yuhibullah uh, will continue and then surah al maida will start <clears throat> and inshallah we will finish surah al maida which has 120 ayats in it so the surah that we were doing yesterday was an nisa the women and we finished uh, up to ayat number 147 so inshallah we'll start with ayat number 148 which is the beginning of the juz la yuhibullah azu billahi minash shaitan rajim bismillah rahman rahim allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this ayat is talking about <coughs> that when a word is spoken how should it be done and why should it be done the way a person would do it la yuhibbullahu al-jahra bis-su'i min al-qawli allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says allah does not love allah does not appreciate that a statement or a word be spoken that has evil in it and it should be done loudly or publicly illa except the condition is that man zulima to whom the wrong has been done so if the wrong has been done and it's happening in the society then it is okay to raise your voice to stop that wrong thing wa kana allah samian alima indeed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows and he has um, the knowledge and he hears then in the next ayat allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in tubdu khairan aw tukhfuhu if you do a good deed and you do it openly or you hide it aw tafu an su'in or you cover up or forgive a wrong doing fa inna allah kana afuwan qadira that indeed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who forgives and he has power over everything then we continue in this surah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing in ayat number 154 um to prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and and responding <coughs> to a statement which is being made by the ahlul kitab the people of the book in medina Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says oh prophet yas aluka ahlul kitab the people of the book uh, the followers of Torah in Medina they are asking you a question what are they saying an tunazzila alaihim kitaban min as-sama'i that you should bring down upon them a book from the heavens Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says this kind of demand is a lesson faqad saalu musa akbar akbar min dalika they had asked musa alaihi salam even bigger than demand than this one faqalu arina allah they said show us allah they demanded to musa alaihi salam that show us allah jahratan very clearly we want to see uh, with our own eyes how allah allah looks like Allah says this was their such a crime fa khazathum as-sa'iqatu so a thunderbolt took them bi zulmihim because of their wrong doing then what they did thumma takhastum al-ijla min ba'di after that after the ilm the knowledge had come to them they took a calf for worshiping fa'afauna anka zalika allah says we will forgive them all this thing wa ataina musa sultana mubina and we bestowed upon musa the very clear signs of ours <clears throat> then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding to them one of the things the the bani israel 
they said something about Maryam alayha salam, very insulting and degrading thing, who was the mother of Isa alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Bal taba Allahu alayha bi kufrihim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had put a seal upon their hearts. Wa bi kufrihim, because of the kufr they committed. Wa qawlihim ala maryama buhtanan azima. And this, they were saying something about Maryam alayha salam, which was a big slander, lie against her. Maryam alayha salam that she had brought up a child out of wedlock, illegitimate child. Wa qawlihim inna qatalna al masiha Isa ibn Maryam. And also they said, the Bani Israel said, we definitely killed Masih Isa ibn Maryam Rasul Allah. We just killed him. Allah says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ They did not kill him. وَمَا سَلَبُوهُ And they did not crucify him. وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَا لَهُمْ But they fell into some kind of doubt. Allah says that those people who dispute in this situation, they have doubt about them, they have no knowledge, they follow the guesswork only. وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ يَقِينَ Definitely they did not kill him. بَرْ رَفَعَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَيْهِ بَلْ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى raised him towards him. فَقَانَ اللَّهُ عَزِيزًا حَكِيمًا And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has all the power and kudra. <coughs> then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is, is addressing the followers of Isa alayhi salam by saying, يَا أَهَلَ الْكِتَابِ And here the address is Ahl al-Kitab, the people of the Injil, the Gospel, the followers those who claim that they are the followers of Isa alayhi salam, la ta'lu fi dinikum, do not add you unnecessary things in your religion, wa la ta'kulu ala allahi illa al-haqq, and do not speak about Allah except what is truth. Innama al-Masihu Isa ibn Maryam, Allah says the Messiah, the Jesus, son of Mary, Rasulullahi was a messenger of Allah wa kalimatuhu and a word from him alqaha that he bestowed ila maryam upon maryam wa ruhum minhu and it was in his spirit from him Allah says fa aminu billahi wa rusulihi so bring iman bring faith believe in Allah and his messengers that includes now Prophet ﷺ is with you, messenger, as a messenger, believe him in also. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is clearly warning, Wala taqulu salasa, do not say three. In tahu, refrain, stop doing that. Khaira lakum, that is better for you. Innama, innama Allahu ilahun wahid, indeed Allah is the only ilah of you, the God, the deity. Subhanahu be he glorified. Ayakuna lahu waladun. How can he have a child? Mafis samawati wa mafil earth. Whatsoever is in the heavens and on the earth, lahu belongs to him. Wakafa billahi wakila and Allah is the witness and um, of everything which is there. <clears throat> then, so this brings us to the end of Surah An Nisa. Next surah that we are going to start tonight in Tarawi is Surah Al Maida. This surah was revealed in Medina and its time frame is around 6th of Hijrah. And usually it is said that it was revealed after the Sulay Hudaybiyah, which happened in 6th of the Hijri, where Prophet traveled to Makkah from Medina with his companions and Quraysh stopped him from performing the Umrah. So Surah Al Maida, <coughs> Maida means the the uh, table is spread like dastarkhan of food, and uh, it was it has mostly the mention and description of Isa alayhi salam and other messengers. So inshallah we will it has 120 ayats in it, and inshallah we will finish this surah tonight. This surah is start with Auzu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajim. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا أَوْفُوا بِالْعُقُودِ 
ओ दोज ऑफ यू हु हैव बिलीव्ड फुलफिल योर कमिटमेंट्स योर कावनेंट्स योर प्रोमिस वेन एवर यू मेक ए प्रोमिस ए कमिटमेंट कावनेंट डू इट फुलफिल इट ओ हिलकुम बही मतुल आमी मायुतलाकुम All the cattle, the domesticated cattle, have been made halal for you, except what has been recited to you. And there are many places, and we will see some of the other ones. What is forbidden to eat? But here Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is saying that domesticated, except leaving something, are permissible to eat. <clears throat> Then Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says that today. Al Yawma today the day when this ayat is revealed. Ya is Al Ladina Kafaru. Those people who did kufr they have become hopeless. Min Dini Kum that they will have any upper hand on your religion. Your religion Islam has been established to the point that today the kufar the disbelievers have lost all hopes that they will be able to have any victory over Muslims. Allah says fala takhshawhum wakhshawni he is addressing the believers do not fear them but fear me al yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum today this day i have completed for you your religion wa atmamtu alaikum ni'mati and i have completed upon you my blessing and my inam and my ni'ma wa raditu lakum al islam adina and i have chosen i have liked for for you the islam as a faith islam as a religion <clears throat> it's understood that this was the ayah that was revealed in the last uh, at the time of the hajj where allah subhanahu wa taala told prophet sallam that today the, your deen has been completed <clears throat> then we go to the ayat number 6 of dur surah al maida here allah subhanahu wa taala is in details telling how to make the ablution the wudu when you stand up for the salat ya ayyuhal ladina amanu o those of you who have believed iza qumtum mila salati when you are going to stand up for the prayer fagsilu then wash what do you wash wujuhakum your faces wa aydiyakum and your hands ilal marafiq up to the elbows wamsahu bi ru'usikum and do the masah of your heads wa arjulakum min al-ka'bain and wash your feet up to the ankles then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says if the water is not found what you do wa in kuntum junuban now if you are in the state of you have met women fattahharu then do the tahara then take the bath wa in kuntum marda aw ala safarin if you are sick or you are on a journey او جاءكم احد منكم من الغائط اور سم ون ہیز کم فرام دی ریسٹ روم او لامستم النساء اور یو ہیو میٹ دی ویمن فلم تجدوا ماء اینڈ دین اف یو ڈو ناٹ فائنڈ دی واٹر واٹ یو ڈو فتیمموا سعيدا طيبا دین ڈو دی تیمم وتھ اے کلین ڈرٹ اور ڈسٹ اور کلین کلے fam sahu bi wujuhikum wa aydikum just two things that do the masa with this clean clay on your face and on your hands that's all ma yuridu allah liyaj'ala alaykum min harajin allah does not want to have any difficulty for you walakin yuridu but he wants liyutahhirakum that he should purify you wal yutim mani amatahu and he wants to complete his bounties upon you lal lakum tashkurun so maybe you will be thankful to allah subhanahu wa taala then allah subhanahu wa taala in ayat number 15 is addressing the bani israel and the followers of isa alai salam ya ahl al kitab o the people of the book qad ja'akum rasuluna our messenger has come to you now at the time when quran is being revealed yubayyinu lakum kaseeram he is explaining many many things to you mimma kuntum tukhfuna min al kitab that you used to hide conceal those facts of life and commandments of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you were hiding 
this messenger is making them clear to you wayafu an kaseer for giving plenty allah says qad jaakum min allahi nurun wa kitabun mubin now indeed has come to you the nur the light from allah subhanahu wa taala and a book which is very clear which is the quran <clears throat> then uh, we will go to ayat number 28 Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala in this surah is describing an event or a story that happened between two sons of Adam alayhi salam Allah says watlu alayhim naba adam bil haqq and recite to them o prophet to the people the news of two sons of Adam alayhi salam with truth is qarraba qurbanan when both of them offered a sacrifice each fataqabbala min ahadihim so one sacrifice was accepted but not the other one so this one who sacrifice was not accepted he said to the other brother qala la aqtulanna ka i'm going to kill you definitely i'm going to kill you he felt left out that he was not his sacrifice was rejected So he responded that Allah only accepts the sacrifice or in the righteous deeds min al muttaqin from those people who have taqwa who have righteousness he said if you stretch your hand to kill me i will not kill you but i want that you take my sins and your sins and then you become min ashab an nar from the people of the fire wa zalika jazaa'u zalimin and that is the punishment payment for those who are wrong doers so what happened this brother whose sacrifice was not accepted he killed the other brother and then allah says for us baha min al khasirin and then he became among the losers now this is the beginning of the human beings existence on the earth so this brother did not know what to do with the body of the brother he had killed so allah subhanahu wa taala says فباس الله غرابا الله سبحانه وتعالى sent a bird a crow يبحث في الارض he started scratching the ground the earth ليريه كيف يواري سوا تاخي so he could show him how to bury and hide the body of his brother so when he noticed that that's the way he can get rid of the body he did dig the ground and he hide hid the body there and then he said لا يا ويلتا اجزت ان اكون مثل هذا الغراب وو ابون مي اي كود نوت ايفن بي لايك ذس بيرد ذات اي كود هايد ذا بادي اوف ماي برادر سو ذس از ذا ستوري اوف فرست مان ذات واز كيلد اند هاو هيز بادي واز بيريد اند ذن وي ويل جو تو ايت نمبر 38 الله سبحانه وتعالى از ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ ا پنشمنٹ فور دوز ہو اسٹیل دوز ہو ار تھیفز Allah says was sariqu wal sariqatu a male thief or a and a female thief faqtau aydiyahuma cut off their hand one hand jazaam bima kasaba nakalam min allah this is their payment that was they have earned as an exemplary punishment for the people wallahu azizun hakim allah has all the power and he has all the knowledge <coughs> then we will continue <clears throat> allah subhanahu wa taala is warning those who have believed in ayat number 54 of surah al maida ya ayyuhal ladina amanu or those of you <clears throat> who have become believers those who have believed in the faith that allah subhanahu wa taala in the religion allah subhanahu wa taala has bestowed upon now the bottom and uh, the de- detailed understanding is that do not take this as granted if allah has bestowed upon you his blessing that he has made you believers in his faith don't take this as a granted because may yartad minkum an dinihi whosoever among you will turn away from his religion leave it off won't practice fasawfa ya'tillahu biqaumin then allah will replace you will bring another nation in place of you yuhibbuhum wa yuhibbunahu allah will love them and they will love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
azillatin ala al mu'minina they will be kind to the believers a'izzatin ala al kafirina they will be harsh upon the disbelievers yujahiduna fi sabilillah they will be struggling striving in the cause of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wala yakhafuna laumata laim and they will not care what other people are going to criticize them dhalika fadlullah yutihi man yasha this is the bounty and fadl of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he bestows upon whom he wills <coughs> then uh, we will go to another ayat of surah al maida <coughs> allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling a, an incident that some people of uh, among the nasara when they heard the quran it struck to their heart and they started crying and they fell down in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they said something <clears throat> so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is admiring the followers of isa alayhi salam those who heard the quran and how did they react allah says wa idha sami'u ma unzila ila rasuli when they heard some people the followers of isa alayhi salam nasara when they heard what has been revealed upon the messenger prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam tara ayunahum you will see their eyes tafidu min ad-dam'i the tears are flowing down from their eyes they crying that they have recognized mimma arafu min al-haqq of that they have recognized that what this is the truth that from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is revealing to the prophet <coughs> and what do they say after they cry and fall down in front of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yaquluna they are saying rabbana amanna o our lord we have believed faktubna ma ash-shahidin so write us down upon among those who are the witnesses who testify this truth which is being revealed to the prophet wa ma lana la nu'minu billahi what happened to us that we should not believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa ma ja'ana min al-haqq and then what has come to us as a truth from our lord from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa natma'u and we hope and we desire and we wish an yudkhilana that will enter us rabbuna our lord ma al-qawmi salihin among those people who are the righteous allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fa asabahum allah bima qalu allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to honor what they are saying with granting them jannatin tajri min tahtihal anhar the gardens are underneath are flowing the rivers khalidin fiha they will abide they will reside in their wazalika jazaul muhsinin so this is the reward of those who are the righteous so among the people of the book both in uh, among some um, some people among the bani israil the followers of the judaism and the followers of the christianity who were living in madina and around that they also became muslims and they believed in the messenger of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the book of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Now in the ayat number 89 Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala is mentioning another situation <coughs> that when you take an oath you take a qasam okay if you first of all you should complete fulfill the oath or the qasam but if you have to break it you cannot do it then what is the fidya what is the uh, compensation for that Allah subhanahu first of all Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says la yu'akhizukum Allah bil laghwi fi aymanikum ayman is qasam okay Allah says Allah does not take you to account for those qasams which you say uselessly in vain Arabs have the habit of saying after every two words wallahi 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 means i swear by Allah they are taking this qasam this is laghw this is useless because they don't have any intention of taking any oath this has become a muhawara in their in their slang language and they do that all the time allah says allah does not he he knows that you do this out of you know no habit so he doesn't take you to account for this one but 
ولاکن یو آخذ و کم بما قتم المان اے قسم ان اوتھ دیٹ یو ہیو ٹیکن ود آنیسٹی اینڈ سنسیرٹی اینڈ یو سے بائی اللہ آئی ایم گنگ ٹو ڈو دس تھنگ ود آل یور سنسیرٹی اینڈ فل دیٹ قسم از اے کمٹمنٹ آف یو ان فرنٹ آف اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی یو ول بی کوشچن فار دیٹ اف یو ڈو ناٹ فل فل دیٹ تھنگ بٹ اللہ از گیونگ اے پرمیشن He is saying that if you for some reason could not keep your qasam, the sincere one, then there is a kafara for that. For kafara tahu, the fidya, the kafara, the payment to break that oath with sincerity is it'amu asharati masakin, that you feed ten needy people. Min ausati ma tut'imuna, medium kind of food that you feed your family. Ahalikum. وَوْ كِسْوَتَهُمْ اور give them something to wear clothes اَوْ تَحْرِيرُ رَقَبَا اور you free a slave and فَمَلْ لَمْ يَجِدْ and one who cannot do any of these things فَسِيَامُ سَلَاسَتِ اَيَّام then he should fast for three days ذَالِكَ كَفَّارَ this is كَفَّارَ this is the payment of your sincere oaths that you have taken in front of Allah سبحانه وتعالى which you could not keep then this is the way to get out of that. Allah says, but if you wahfazu aymanakum, if you keep your um, oath, that is better for you. <coughs> then we will go to <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ayat number 100 is mentioning something that we see all around us all the time. Allah says, قُلْ لَا يَسْتَوِلْ خَبِيسُ وَتَّيِّبُ Say, O Prophet, the khabis, the evil, the bad, is not equal to the good, to the tayyab. Evil things, bad things, wrong things are not equal to the good deeds, good things, good actions. Walau ajabaka kasratul khabisi, even though the khabis, the evil will be plenty of it around you. All around you, all the time you will see the wrong things happening. Allah says it's a kasrat of that, it's a plenty of it. It still doesn't mean that khabis is better or equal to the righteousness. Fattakullah, so watch yourself, be muttaqi, have taqwa of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and stay away from those khabais that are around you. <clears throat> then uh, we will... Um, go through some ayats at the end of this surah, uh, surah al-Maida, which is about the Isa alayhi salam. <clears throat> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ayat number 109 is saying that yawma, the day of judgment, yajma'u allahu rusula, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gather all the prophets, all the messengers, when all the human being will be brought in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even at that time, the messengers and the prophets will be standing on the day of judgment in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will bring them together. Fayaqulu, then he will say, Maza ujibtum, what was the response you get? I sent you in worldly life to bring the people to the guidance. You took the message of me, you conveyed the message, what did they tell you? What was the response you got from the people when you took my message to them in the worldly life? So this is a question the messengers are being asked. So messengers will be so worried about themselves also. And then they will say, Kalu la il malana. They will say, we don't know. Even though some of the result and the consequence is known but they will be so much worried about everything they will say oh Allah we don't know anything some explanation is that they will say that we know what on the surface people told us after we presented our, the, your deen to them but we did not know what is inside their hearts only oh Allah you know inna kanta allamul ghayub you are the one who knows all the ghayb all the unknown things then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's a very strange ayat, uh, the uh, almost last few ayats of Surah al maida Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because all in, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the messengers are standing up. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
will address Isa alayhi salam there. And he will say the words that he has, he is going to say to him, but Allah has quoted those words and those statements in the Quran for us. Allah says, Wais qala Allahu, when Allah will say, Ya Isa ibn Maryam, O Isa, son of Maryam, Anta qulta, did you say, Linnasi to the people, when you were in worldly life, did you say something to the people? What did you say? Ittakhizuni wa ummiya ila hayni min dunillah. That you people take me and my mother as two gods besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Isa alayhi salam will be scared and he will reply, Qala subhanaka. He will say, be glory to you. Ma yakuno li. Why? It was not possible for me that I would say something like that. It was not for me. An aqulu ma laysa bi haq. I would say something. I have no right to say something. And then he will further say, In kuntu qultuhu faqad alimtahu. If I said that, you would know it. You would know it because you have the knowledge. If I had said that thing to them, Ta'alamu ma fi nafsi. O Allah, you know what is in my heart. Wala alamu ma fi nafsik. I do not know what is in your heart. Inna ka anta lamul ghayub. You are the one who knows all the hidden things. Then he will make one more statement, Isa alayhi salam, on the day of judgment. He says, Ma qultu lahum illa ma amartani bihi. I only said that what you had commanded me to say. And what was that? An abudullaha rabbi wa rabbakum. Worship all of you, the one who is my Lord and he is your Lord. Wakunto alayhim shahida and Allah, you are witness of me when I was saying this to them, to the people of the Bani Israel at the time when I was in the worldly life. Ma dum to him. As long as I lived there, you were watching over me. You are my witness. I never said anything like that. Falamma tawafaitani. And when you took me back, antar raqiba, you were responsible. I didn't say as long as I lived there. After you took me back to you, then whatever they did, you say, is not my responsibility. And you are a witness upon everything. So this will be an excuse. Isa alayhi salam will be presenting on the day of judgment, a very logical statement, just to, to let, uh, let everybody know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what he commanded, he did that only, not anything more or less than that. So inshallah we will stop here. This is almost the end of Surah Al-Ma'idah. So tonight we will recite remaining Surah An-Nisa which has about 40 ayats and then 120 ayats of Surah Al-Ma'idah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to understand the Quran and act upon it and understand what's being recited in the Taraweeh. Sadaqallah wa Allah Allah